get a clap, get into your room, finish what you have to do. When you want to come out, just into a clap. No magic applied there, just some technology and I mean Arduino board. Hello everyone and welcome to this new Arduino tutorial. But before we start, for the one to excuse myself for not publishing a video last week, electricity disturbs here very badly. But nevertheless, we are still here because we love Arduino, we like Arduino, we like Internet of Things, so let's go on. But before I start again, let me just ask a simple question. Who has never dreamt of getting into the room instead of finding where the switch is found? Just do a small clap up up, light comes on, do what you want to do, another clap up up, light goes off, and then you're yeah, okay without finding a switch. So in order to do that, today we will not be working very much with small, small legs as we have been doing. We will now get into the bigger ones. That is, we are going to use a real bulb, and then the real electricity from an electricity company. And then here yeah, also, we are going to use this guy to perform that we are going to use this guy is called the relay so basically what is a relay a relay is basically the link between a power a low power digital electronic device and a help high power device it allows low power digital electronic device such as the microcontrollers to control high power devices by switching them either on or off, especially bigger components that need bigger electricity to be able to work, such as the industrial motors and all of the like that run on 220 ohms up to 250 volts. For example, this one you can run with it up to 250 volts AC and 28 volts DC. So you can see this small Arduino board can do great things. It's, why can we not just put a simple bulb? Yeah, it is just because the bulb here uses a 220 ohms from the normal electricity company. Why the guy can only produce a small 5 volt ohm? But because of this guy, which is called a relay, we are going to do and perform it. How does this work? It's just because basically, by looking here, we, I'm going to explain it basically. So from here, we'll see that we have two different sides one side is the dc supplied yeah which can produce here yeah, a small five volts and here yeah, we have a bigger size which is the ac supply which needs a bigger this is the low power of three volts or five volts or three volts for example and this is the high power of 220 volts and they are electrically isolated both of them so the relay is basically at this point here so what it does is when electricity when this switch is not closed because here we have a switch so when this switch it will be closed pop current start flowing here as it flows electromagnetic induction uh, a magnetic field is being built up around this place which makes what it makes this small guy to close up pop as it closes up it makes this circuit now to be complete and as it is complete now yeah the big electric motor can now be able to work basically simple so in this case we are going to use a lamp and then in order to make it more spicy and more nice what are we going to do we are going to use a microphone i've already explained how the microphone functions previous video so yeah we use this microphone do a small clap that clap is going to induce what make this guy to come on that is basically the explanation so we are going to pass to the wiring of the code okay from here we will see all the lightning all the <coughs> connections have already been done okay then this is the connection to the relay please when working with relay especially with high voltages please the caution is very serious uh, you shouldn't be very careful because incorrect manipulation of it can lead to serious injury and then death because this high voltage so i've got two wires gotten two wires one wire that runs from here right up to my bulb and then the other one the part that runs from this from the power supply the plug comes and then enters into the normally open port of the of my relay you can see two here because it's a double relay that is can control two different uh, so um things at the time so i'm just using this other part so the part that runs from the wire from the plug up to the relay enters through the normally open while the one that runs from the bulb to the uh, relay enters into the uh, into the um, the one that comes from the bulb enters into the normally open where the water runs from the wire from the plug goes to the com 
inside here so now after doing the setup i've also set up my microphone and i'm using the digital pin of my microphone so now let us pass now and then do a small test I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you can now uh, put it and implement it maybe in your room for lazy ones who don't want to be looking for the switch or all of that. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week for another passionate tutorial video. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.